Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Middle Eye here. Um, Damien, just getting back. Um, haven't made a video in a long time, and because uh, I've been uh, pretty busy and whatnot, uh, just been using tr Twitter a lot more lately to get my words out. Anyway, this is a totally different uh, related subject than any other time. Right now, I'm just gonna ask questions of uh, all my DJ friends out there. If you guys look back in my videos, you guys that have uh, been watching a lot of them, you'll know that um, I have a DJ company, uh, supersonic-djs.com. I'll check that out. Um, what I'm wanting to know is I want to upgrade my equipment, and I'm looking at purchasing uh, a new um, setup uh, pretty soon. Uh, so, I'm saying a lot, but anyway. Um, <laughs> what I'm stuck between is either using uh, two turntables and uh, Serato um, with uh, the uh, the video plugin uh, video SL and or um, using two turntables and uh, virtual vinyl uh, with Q which of course comes um, with video capabilities and that's the most important thing is I have to have uh, video capability off the bat. I have to have videos right away. That's what I want to do. Um, one way I looked at, and um, if you look at my favorites, or I might try to post the video in here, um, Newmark had a setup at the NAMM 2008 or 2009 where they had uh, two turntables, the total control by Newmark, uh, running on cue. So the total control was uh, like running the tracks. Um, you could use it for the pitch control, uh, yada, yada, yada and the turntables are controlling the actual decks. Um, they got the, uh, like, I think, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, he's running it and um, showing some mixing with the video, and that looks really good, I like that. Um, then the third option is um, the Newmark NS7, um, running it with uh, the latest version of Q, which supposedly you're supposed to be able to uh, plug the NS7 in, do con some config, settings and uh, just set it up and, and it'll work be able to mix the uh, audio and the video so um, I'm a little bit um, stuck on that um, I don't know if I'm going to try to put a list of like what it's going to cost me um, I'm looking at buying this at Guitar Center going to buy it at Guitar Center no matter what um, pretty much so I've kind of done the math and it's basically the virtual vinyl and Serato are going to be about the same because if I run virtual vinyl, I want to run it with the um, Newmark Total Control. And uh, of course, if I buy Serato, I have to buy the video plugin, which I don't really like. But um, I also want some feedback, like from guys who have maybe used both or girls um, that have used both, and uh, what kind of you know things have you come across? Um, a lot of people say that. Serato is like a stripped down version, it works better, but then other people tell me that um, Serato actually crashes more when running videos, so maybe because it's a plug-in and not like built right into it, I don't know. Um, also, Virtual Vinyl seems to run more uh, different types of video files, uh, MPEG, and DivX, and uh, I don't know, all kinds of um, things. So, um, I'm just really kind of bewildered, but I'm going to make this purchase within the next couple weeks. So, I want to make sure that I buy the right thing, and I don't want something that I have to, like, upgrade. I don't want to have to, like, add on more things. Oh, another thing I want to talk about is, in four minutes, um, I want to talk about the, one of the most important things I like about the NS7 is the, uh, the cue points, the five cue points there. You know, so you hit that, and you know, jump to those cue points, and also at the top um, for the um, automatic loops, uh, 2 beats, 4 beats, 8 beats, 16 beats, and then having it um, I'll multiply by 2. Uh, I really like that. And uh, the only way I can see doing that, um, you can do that a little bit on the total control, but I don't think you have as many uh, hot cues, if I'm correct. There's only like 3 maybe that you can do. Um, somebody tell me if that's correct. I've touched the uh, total control, but they don't actually have it hooked up at Guitar Center. But I've touched the NS7. It's amazing. It's kind of what I want, but I, I, I don't know what it works like with uh, Virtual DJ. Um, 
the Serato is okay, the Serato itch, but I just, I have to have video. The most important thing for me in making my new setup is doing video. Um, I've been working with video a little bit uh, with PCDJ VJ, um, but I'm not satisfied with it because I'm working in internal mode. And uh, some of the things that they have to operate it, uh, like I think it's DCM2 or something, I don't remember. It's just kind of hokey. I didn't like it. When I started looking for um, controller options, uh, I found the total control and then the NS7. And I'm like, okay, I'm not even working with PCDJ anymore because I just don't like it. It, it crashes a lot, it's really touchy. Uh, I've put it on several different machines, and which you get a lot of RAM and whatnot, it works a lot better, but it's not working for me. Um, if you have other suggestions, you can suggest it, but I'm really working with these three options. Um, so, Serato with turntables, PCDJ with turntables, or NS7. And I don't want to run anything with uh, CD decks. I don't know why. I just don't like it. And I think actually, just I need that like spinning motion. Just need that. Um, so anyway, uh, hopefully this wasn't just a big ramble. Although I know it was, but rather than just write this or like type it on my blog or something, I know nobody's gonna respond. I know people respond to videos, so I'm um, making this video and uh, thank you to my subscribers. If you're checking this out, I know this is totally unrelated to anything I usually do, and thank you to everybody um, who uh, can help me out with this. I'm going to send this out to all the people I've been watching your videos trying to figure out what I want to get. So, uh, shout outs to, uh, uh, I'm not going to do it because there's just so many of you. So anyway, um, thanks for the help and uh, you came back with me right here on YouTube and uh, that'll be about it. Alright, I'll talk to you later guys.